Welcome ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another lecture. So here today we're gonna continue where we left and that is we know how to compile assets now and but we need to work on our project. So from now on we're gonna start working on our project. I'm just gonna close some of the things but before that I just want to tell you how you can navigate through your folders without without I mean opening and going manually like this now every editor is different so control p here will say type to get uh, to get help on the actions you can take from here now for example if i want to go to web.php by the way this is my place to register our web routes now i don't need to go routes web.php right so that is very easy to do for example if I want to access the home controller so you need to know the name you can go there and by the way if I if you haven't undo I mean if this is uh, commented just uncomment save it and let's go here refresh now you should not be allowed to go to home because that was just for testing right so be mindful of that now this is how you can navigate you can jump from file to file for example if you wanted to go to composer.json here it is there we go if you want to go to I don't know uh, what else we have user.php this is our model located in users uh, in app HTTP oh it's not in HTTP it's in app directory here it is so this is how you can navigate in all, every other uh, editor I don't know what you're using just find a way how you can do this so remember previous if you follow my previous lectures I told you that I'm gonna make it easy but before I was going like this for example if you want to access the CSS so you just control P and type CSS and here it is app.css you can you can also go to the resources and tell it tells you which folder are they're located right so this is something that you can do and you're not gonna waste time now one more thing we need to start creating folders here and we need to start importing them here in the app and after that we are going to I don't know we are going to start creating our layouts for our project so before that I just always want to create the folders so here one one folder that we need to create is called abstracts very good now that will be empty for now another folder another folder that here we can create is called base folder very good another folder so let's put a components so if you are familiar with my works before you will see that I'm using some sort of um, a structure like this I don't want to put it here everything like variables underscore or like before we have done with the testing card so that I don't want to be everything to put it's best to you to put them in separate folders so you, you in order you to know where they are located so in the base we're gonna put resets topography utilities components we're gonna put the components of our like uh, I don't know like navig navigation or login or I don't know whatever we we are consider as a component so everyone has a different now here layout I will put layout in layout I'll, definitely we will have footer in header now another folder mixins so I'm not gonna use all of this one but you definitely in future can do and I will just create probably another one pages so that pages will have my pages like a I don't know home page and stuff like that so we are done with this part now in abstracts I just want to shoot this one I just want to cut cut this one from here and put it in abstracts and I'm just gonna move it or you can you can just copy this one and um, I mean you can copy the content from here and you can create it so now this one is not any more valid because I'm inside a folder or I'm inside the directory you will see how we can import but first let's create some of the things in a base let's put it in the base new file called underscore base dot scss so don't worry if it's this confusing for now but if you follow me other 
other reset, sorry, reset.scss. So if you follow me with my previous uh, courses or previous uh, lectures, you will see that I use this typography for, I mean, <laughs> uh, we need to write typography, that's why I said typography. We use this folder structure and we use this one um, architecture to just to make our application very nice and smooth. By the way, doing this one is for a large application. For example, I'm showing you how to build this structure that supports large application. That's why I will create probably five or ten files. I could put it here, like in the like the variables or like the app.css, right? But I don't want to do that. I just want to have everything, like um, everything separated in folder typography. That. Uh, SCSS, very good. Now, what else I have? Um, what else I have? Utilities here. That SCSS, very good. I'm just gonna close this one. I think I'm done here. In the components, we're gonna compone. We're gonna create the components separately. But here in the layout, I'm gonna say underscore footer. That SCSS, right? The next one will be underscore header the scss and i will leave it like that for now maybe sidebar should be here as well the scss so i'm saying maybe because i'm looking on my the other screen what i have done there and i'm just thinking maybe we can change it we can make it more interesting for you guys so in the mixins um we just gonna leave mixins there empty in the pages in a pages, what we can do, we can just create a home.scss or main.scss. Depends what you want. Let's put it main.scss. Very good. Now, another thing that we need to worry about is how we can import this. I'm just going to close. They're empty, by the way. But I just want them to be imported in our... Wait, wait. I have too many things open. So, uh, in our app.css. Now, the variables will be in which folder abstracts so abstracts forward slash and we have the variables very good now bootstrap will be there components will, will stay there let's put the base here and let's we need to use the word import and let's say base forward slash base import and let's copy this one semicolon here let's copy this one here and let's say forward slash reset forward slash typography which I think I misspelled it so we're gonna uh, fix it lay in I mean we need to fix that one base and utilities so I'm done with the folder base now let's go to the which one so we have abstracts base components I'm just gonna go down here and I'm gonna say layout and import uh, what we need here layout forward slash sorry 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 so we need to do layout why it's not giving me okay yeah because I'm in inside brackets sorry about this guys so layout and I have footer so I can copy this two more times, I think so. Oops, two more times. So I have footer, and here I do have sidebar, and here in the middle I do have the header. Right? Maybe I should put header footer first. Header footer, like this. Header sidebar footer. Very good. Now, mixins. We're just gonna. I'm just gonna make a comment for mixins. Maybe we're not gonna put any mix in there, but that's you need to know how to do this now pages let's say import and we do have only one called pages and main.scss very good remember don't include this underscore and dot scss it's not gonna work like that All right so that's pretty much it I think we are saved next time we're gonna compile and see if we're gonna have any problems but we should be good now we have everything separated in in folders so when we compile actually we only do have this variables thing 
Yeah, let's we will see if that one is gonna show up here again if we have some kind of mistake this thing will not be there right so remember that we are working and we are compiling our SAS and we are shooting this one to CSS and JavaScript folder or JS folder so that's pretty much it I think that this lecture was a little bit boring but it is what it is so we create a folder structure here and sometimes it's called 771 architecture or whatever you're gonna call it you can you can search it but as I told you I'm not gonna go in deep into this, this explaining what what this means why we need abstracts why we need base but this is for larger application it will it will allow you to create more uh, robust application so thank you very much and I hope I'm gonna see you in the next lecture and that one will be more interesting than this one probably <laughs> stay safe bye